up, guys? It is James V here from Celestin Capital, back again with another video. I hope you all had a great trading week. And in today's video, we are going to talk about liquidity in the Forex market. Now, I think it's important for each and every trader to understand liquidity because liquidity is what's going to make you or break you in the markets. Whatever market you're trading, either stock market, the, the options market, or you know, you're doing stocks, options, or Forex, whatever, indices, whatever it is. It's important for you to understand liquidity because liquidity is how the banks make their money. And if you're on the wrong side of how the banks manipulate the market, then I'm sorry, you're out of luck, buddy. But if you're on the right side and you understand liquidity, then the market is a hell of a lot easier. It's a lot easier to spot certain things or spot obvious areas of where the banks may go and where the banks may reverse from. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. I want to start with a quick example. We're going to have in, we're going to hop into the live charts later on, but I want to just go over a little bit of theory or a little bit of I want to give you guys some some explanation behind liquidity. So let's say we have the market moving like this, right? So as you can see, Thinking in terms of the average retail trader, we have a level of support, right? Or a level of resistance right here. And we have a level of support down here. So, and you know, you're always taught to, oh, we're going to sell out resistance and we're going to buy out support. That's what you were taught, right? When you first got into the, the Forex game. Or if you're new to Forex or if you're in Forex right now, you were taught to, oh, we're going to sell out resistance and we're going to buy out support. Now, think about it like this. If there's an obvious level of, if there's an obvious spot where the banks know you're going to sell at or you're going to buy at, then, you know, you're not the only person doing that, right? There are thousands, possibly even millions of people doing the same thing, right? So what you're taught is to buy at support. You know, stop loss goes behind the last low. Let me keep it in drawing mode. Buy at support. Do something like this, right? Buy at support. Your stop loss goes below here right stop loss goes below the low and you're taught to also and everybody's doing the same thing this is just millions of retail traders doing the same thing right stop loss goes behind the low stop loss goes on the low and then you're taught to sell out resistance same thing over here same thing over here let me why is that staying in drum mode you're taught to sell out resistance right and you got thousands, millions of people doing the same thing. Buy at support, sell out resistance, stop loss goes in a safe place, right? If millions of people are doing the same thing, don't you think it's a little obvious that the banks are going to potentially, or don't you think it's obvious that the banks know where the money is, right? Your stop loss is money for the banks. Your stop loss is candy for the banks. So if all these people are doing the same thing, let me get rid of some of these here just to, but pretend there are millions and millions of orders over here. So we're selling at support and buying at resistance. I'm going to get rid of some of these just so it doesn't get cluttered. If it's obvious that you're selling at resistance and buying at support and stop loss goes above here, don't you think the banks are going to manipulate the markets to do something like this? So if I know stop loss is down here, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to stop you out, stop the buyers out. And I'm, I'm going to come up here and stop the sellers out at the same time. So I'm going to fake one way, grab the money, and fake the other way and grab their money as well. Continue in that direction. Or you might see something like this. The banks go this way first and then reverse the market the other way. And I'm like, oh, man. Oh, why did this happen to me? I was taught to sell at resistance and buy support. Well, that's why. Because it's too obvious. It's obvious that where the money is. It's obvious where people are putting their stop losses. And not only that, you've got the breakout traders that that have their have their buy stops in a direction. Let's say you've got breakout traders that have their buy stops up here. Now, if you don't know, buy stop is basically when you buy into momentum. So when the market heads this way, your order gets activated and you're expecting the market to continue that way. And if you have a sell stop, you have your orders down below below where the current price is and you are expecting the market to activate your order and continue in that direction. But again, what you might see the market or what you're going to see the market do is potentially do something like this. They're going to go up here, 
fake the breakout traders, make them think that they're going to continue up. In fact, they're not. They're going to reverse the direction of the market and continue this way potentially. So these people are still in their buys when the market is heading down. Or the market might even do this. Take these people out or activate these orders thinking that they're going to continue in that direction. Actually reverse the market over here. And you've got these people trapped into sales when the market is actually buying. I don't know if you guys understand the concept behind this, but these are obvious levels where people people's money are. The banks are looking at these things right now. The banks are looking at these, these patterns or these obvious levels of support and resistance as money. And again, as I said before, if you're caught on the wrong side, it won't be good for you. But if you are on the right side of the market, then... It's just beautiful. You can count, you can, what's the word I'm looking for? You can, you can capitalize on the moves, on the obvious levels that you see in the market. Now let's look at some other forms of liquidity in the market. Let's do something like this. Another form of liquidity you'll see is, you know, the market's making higher highs, higher lows, right? Now, tell me what do you see for me here? If you said trend line liquidity, then you are absolutely right. Same case with this obvious levels of support and resistance. If the market is obviously bouncing off of some level, some zone, or some trend line, you can say, then it's obvious that people are going to, what? Have their stop losses right under here, right? Have their stop losses right under here. And it's going to be obvious that there are millions of people doing the same thing. They're expecting the market to continue to bounce off this trend line. But in fact, what the market may potentially do is this, bounce off, give you some small reaction, give you some bullish engulfing candle, right? Give you some bullish engulfing and then continue in the opposite direction. And in terms of sales, in terms of, so this is buy side liquidity, in terms of sell side liquidity, same thing. The market's potentially bouncing off some obvious level of resistance in the form of a trend line. And then you'll see something like this. You'll see people continue to sell off of this trend line. You'll see people continue to sell off of this trend line. And then what you'll see is people do something like this. Have their stop losses right above the trend line, right? You'll see something like that. And then what the market would potentially do is give you, again, some sort of reaction just like they did off of the buy side liquidity and then just reverse in the other direction. Now, I hope you understand what the, the point I'm trying to get across here. I hope you understand what I'm trying to explain to you guys here. Because, again, we, want, we don't want to trade obvious levels. We don't want to trade obvious level, obvious liquidities. We don't want to be in obvious liquidity uh, in the way of obvious liquidity. That's what I'm trying to say. You want to protect yourself from these obvious levels. And let's go ahead and hop into the charts and take a look at some examples here. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, well, you're cherry picking, you're cherry picking trades. Yes, because I'm trying to explain to you guys how it works. So, of course, I'm going to cherry pick just so you guys can see how these, how, how the banks move or how you can spot these, uh, these levels of liquidity. Now, as you can see here, we have some obvious level of support, right? Obvious level of support. So, we've got... You know, we've got retail traders. Oh, buy, buy, buy. It's bouncing off nicely, right? You get this you get this huge reaction right here. They're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to continue to buy from here. Buy, 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 buy. And then eventually, what does the market do? As you can see, you know, you continue to buy off of here. Stop loss right under here. You got your stop loss right under here. Protect it right under the slow. And then again, you've got millions of people doing the same thing, same exact thing. So this is not only there's not only one person doing this. You've got millions of people putting their stop losses and buying off of this obvious level of support. What does the market do? As I explained before, the market comes down. Bam. Or actually, what does it do? The market comes over here. Let me zoom in a little bit. The market comes over here, gives you a nice reaction with look this bullish engulfing candle that engulfs. 
that engulfs the previous candle, right? It engulfs this red candle. You see this nice bullish engulfing candle right here, thinking that, oh yeah, this is gonna buy. You see two green candles in a row, and you're like, oh yeah, we're taking this to the moon. But what happens? The market goes, the market, fix this right here. The market goes, gives you a small reaction, and then takes you out immediately, all right? Again, not only you, but millions of people. The market takes them out immediately. And then what does it do? It continues in the other direction, right? So I hope you guys see what I'm trying to explain here. That we don't want to be trading obvious levels of support resistance or any kind of liquidity. Because again, that's where the banks make their money. And we want to be on the right side of the banks making their money. We don't want to be on the wrong side. So let's take a look at some more examples. Let's take a look at, actually, let's find you know a trend line example. As you can see right here, what do we have here? We have nice trend line liquidity, right? You got the market continuing to bounce off this level, right? You got the market bouncing off, bouncing off. So if I'm the average retail trader, what am I doing? I'm continuing to buy, 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 buy. Stop loss goes right below the trend line, right? Stop loss goes right below the trend line. But what happens? market taps on it again look the market taps it gives you a bullish engulfing candle thinking that you're, it's going to continue up but no in fact what does the market do the market sells and takes all of you out obvious level of liquidity we don't want to be on the wrong side of the bank guys we want to be on the right side of the banks let's take a look at a sell side look this is a buy side example because we're buying on the trend line. So this is buy side liquidity. Let's take a look at the sell side example. So see, sell side liquidity. Same thing guys, same thing. Obvious levels, obvious levels. Let's take a look right here. Where is it? All right, right here, all right? So actually let's find a better example. So we've got right over, where are we? Right over here, we can say. We can say there's a nice trend line liquidity over here, right? The market's continuing to bounce off this trend line. Let's say we're right here. The market bounces off this trend line. Where is it? Once, twice, three times, four times. Five times, maybe? I don't know. Let's let's take it over here. Let's sell right here. Just because you know the market's done it the past few the market's done it the past few times, so it has to do it again, right? Let's put our stop loss right over here. Nope. We get stopped out, right? The market continues in the other direction. As you can see if we play this out, the market continues. All those people who are trying to sell and hold their orders down to who knows where they were stopped out they were stopped out and what i want you guys to understand is you know just because the market does it a few times doesn't mean it's going to continue again right so just because it rained every tuesday last month doesn't mean it's going to rain on tuesday again this month doesn't mean it's going to rain this tuesday just because it rained every tuesday the past three weeks doesn't mean it's going to rain this tuesday right don't assume that the market's going to do something that it's done in the past, right? Just because it bounced off this trend line a few times in the past doesn't mean it's going to continue to bounce off this trend line and do it continuously. No, obviously the market is going to bounce off, you know, it can bounce off however many times it wants, but eventually the market does what it wants. It can continue in the opposite direction. And so this is the entire video for you guys. This is just the basic concept of liquidity. I don't want to get too in depth right now, but I will do so in future videos. So make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure your notifications are on because I'm going to continue to produce the best content I can. I hope this video made sense for you guys. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the description below. Again, I'm trying to help you guys understand liquidity because if you understand liquidity, you will master or you will understand the markets a lot better. If you understand liquidity, you will understand the markets a lot better.
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, be sure to hit the like button. I hope you guys uh, have a great trading week next week. I wish you all the best. Make sure you stay disciplined. Make sure you stay stick to your rules or stick to the system that you've created for yourself. Again, if you want to stay tuned for more content, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on. Peace out, guys.